Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number 25 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One and we're starting this one straight back in Premier League action with trying to chase down Manchester City at the top of the table. They do have a very handsome lead on us at present but the, uh, the title definitely isn't gone as we speak. So we're coming into this one as you can see, 12 points clear of, or 12 points short, shy rather, of Manchester City with six games to go. So we definitely need to win every single game if we want to stand a chance of winning that title. But Oscar comes so close to putting us one up here. Lovely finesse shot and unfortunately just whistles wide of that far post. Then Frank Lampard's going to draw a good save out of the goalkeeper. I think they actually were playing Shea Given. Yeah, they were playing Shea Given in this one. Not really too sure where Brad Guzan is, but uh, we are actually going to uh, have another chance from the corner up goes Branislav Ivanovic and it comes back off the bar this time so we're getting very very close to putting ourselves into the lead in the early stages we're going to have another chance inside the opening 20 minutes or so Michael SCM lays it back to Willian he's got men over on the far side Kevin De Bruyne's in I probably should have taken that an extra step on and just made sure that it hit the back of the net rather than hitting it first time because Shea Given made another comfortable save but they were on the attack here had a corner both players went up for the ball Gary Cahill battling with uh, with one of their players in the box and as you'll be able to see from the chance he heads it against his arm it only brushes Cahill's arm but uh, it was enough for the referee to deem it handball give them a penalty and Christian Benteke absolutely does me with a dummy shuffle puts the penalty the wrong way or the right way I go the wrong way rather and uh, and they actually go 1-0 up after our opening dominance so uh, well, I needed to get myself back in the game in the second half and uh, we tried to do just that through Frank Lampard here Diego Costa playing the ball round the corner another decent shot unfortunately Frank just doesn't have the pace to get away from those defenders if he gets in behind and there was a bit of pressure on his shoulder and he wasn't able to get a decent enough shot away but Diego Costa is going to shuffle the ball from right to left outside of the right foot shot right into that top left hand corner it's good enough from him to get us back in the game but I've been so disappointed with the, the growth of him so far in this uh, in this career mode series I genuinely am I'm 90% sure that uh, I'm actually going to get rid of him in the summer if I possibly can with Romelu Lukaku coming back in so uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that later on in the series but we're actually only going to get pick up a draw from that one against Aston Villa we've got no time to react to that we need to pick ourselves back up because we've got an FA Cup semi-final at Wembley of course against Arsenal we've got a full first team out for this one and uh, it's really going to be a difficult game Arsenal beat us earlier on in the season at the Emirates and in fact our next game in the league is Arsenal at home so it's kind of a tester for that but this one is definitely more important semi-final of the FA Cup at Wembley Newcastle versus QPR is the other semi interestingly QPR knocked out Manchester United in uh, in the quarterfinal so that is a massive game for them up against Newcastle the trip to Wembley in the cup semi-final is definitely something to savour for, uh, for teams of that size although I guess that's kind of a little bit disrespectful but nonetheless being a Chelsea fan QPR aren't necessarily very high on my uh, teams I, I like to praise list but uh, David Luiz with a huge mistake there trying to head the ball clear just completely missed it and unfortunately uh, Aaron Ramsey's wasteful with the shot Petacek with a good save down to his right hand side just stretches across to get it clear and uh, we live through that mistake but Arturo Vidal was trying to find a bit of space see how compact that Arsenal midfield four is there I constantly had to look out wide for chances Sherrod obviously put the ball into the back of the net earlier on and was offside you would have seen that clip a little bit earlier was was a kind of mid flow and didn't commentate on it but uh, we also had another chance there whipped in cross that a goalkeeper made a good save and then it's actually Arsenal pushing down the wide sides this time as opposed to the, the non-wide sides I clearly don't even know what I'm talking about but again we're fortunate to get away with it the ball dropped on the line and the uh, Fortunately for us, it was able to uh, to get cleared by the defender. But we went in at half-time at 0-0. And it was definitely one of the most boring second halves I have actually ever played of career mode on any FIFA ever. The only chance came in the second half here with Fernando Torres breaking in 3.92nd minute. And I do not know how he's managed to put that wide. The chance to snatch it, just like we did against Manchester City with Oscar's goal off the post... <laughs> Oh, so close. It's so close because Shelney just stuck a leg out and unfortunately that might have put him off and he put the ball wide. So, of course, rather than a replay in an FA Cup semi-final, it does go to extra time. Eden Hazard breaking down the right-hand side as we uh, were into the second half of extra time, actually. Juan Mata into Torres. David Luiz on the way through. Chance to steal it again. And this time, Wojciech Szczesny makes another good save to keep us out. With just a couple of minutes later, Andre Schell is going to try and whip one just like he did against Marseille. This time, again, Wojciech Szczesny he makes another good save. Ian Hazard is going to take the corner. In it comes. Up goes Raphael Varane. 
deflected off the defender. We're going to get another chance. The pressure is building here. It is wave after wave of blue attack. Hazard rips the ball in again. Up goes David Luiz. Can't get the shot away. Scherler's up. One matter on the volley. Bottom post. No. Just wide of that far post. And the chance goes a begging yet again. And then into second half. Stop his time in extra time. Arsenal with the chance to steal it now. Lucas Podolski with a shot. Good save by Petr Cech. Mesut Ertzul on the rebound. Is he going to cross it back in? Or Arsenal going to steal it? No, they are not. We're able to hold out. As you can see, plenty of chances, but a lot of that came in either the first half or the uh, the second half of extra time. And as you can see, going to penalties, but we've got a lot of decent penalty takers, better than Arsenal. So we are hoping to be able to pick up a, uh, a win on penalties. I sped up the first few because uh, it went past the uh, the initial five. But as you can see, we missed the first. They missed the first. We're able to make a save. And uh, I'm not very good at penalties, I have to be completely honest. But Eden Hazard hasn't missed a penalty for us all year, as far as I can remember. And every time he does seem to take a penalty, he smashes it right into the top corner. So he's definitely my uh, my go-to penalty taker other than Frank Lampard. Scherler pops his away. So at present, we're 2-1 up with them to take their third and unfortunately Aaron Ramsey, even though Petacek goes the right way, he is able to put it into the back of the net. David Luiz does have a very, very good penalty on him. Wasn't the best, actually, when I when I took it in the end. But uh, Keeper just wasn't able to get anywhere near it. Zeko, what a pen into that top left-hand corner. With 3-3 after four penalties each. Fernando Torres right into the top left as well, taking a leaf out of Edin Zeko's book. So if Thomas Vermanen misses, we win 4-3 on penalties. Nope, not a chance. That is a spectacular penalty from the Belgian. Absolutely superb into that top left-hand corner. So Ashley Cole's coming up. And, of course, he put his penalty for England against Italy in the uh, in the Euro 2012 down in that right-hand corner. It was saved, but he replicates the, uh, the result of his penalty from the Champions League final against Bayern Munich. Down to that right-hand corner, into the back of the net. Nabry's going to miss his penalty. Percek is the hero yet again in a penalty shootout for Chelsea Football Club. We are going to progress through to the FA Cup final and of course we already won the Capital One Cup final and now we're going to have a chance to win the FA Cup as well with a final against Newcastle so uh, they were actually the first team to beat us this season in the F in uh, the league rather so it's definitely going to be a difficult game their game went to penalties as well and also ended up 5-4 on pens so QPR just missing out but we are going to face Newcastle in the FA Cup final that will come up as a live com a little bit later in the series but the next game is yet another semi-final this time it's the first leg of the double header against Juventus we're playing away from home in Italy and because this game was literally I think two days after that game against Arsenal it was Sunday to Tuesday or something silly like that unfortunately we have to play a complete rotation side so it was going to be a dull game in Juventus it was going to be a case of us holding on to the ball and stereotypically Italian teams aren't very attacking anyway so uh, Bayern Munich obviously as you can see play Barcelona in the other semi-final so regardless of who gets through the final is going to be a massive game four of the biggest teams in European football playing in the two semi-finals Tevez is going to run down the left-hand side just a couple of minutes in Mirko Vucinic wins the header but fortunately it goes straight at Mark Schwartz and we're able to keep ourselves at 0-0 pushing a few minutes later though Sami Eto's breaking free. I actually played Sami Eto'o on the left here for small portions of the game because uh, Juve, Juve were playing three at the back so I needed that extra little bit of pace out wide and of course Kevin De Bruyne can't offer that. So a uh, decent shot from Sami Eto'o but unfortunately he just hooked his shot wide and Ma Martin Caceres was uh, unfortunately for them injured in that move. And 15 minutes in Frank Lampard draws another good save out of Gianluigi Buffon and uh, unfortunately we're actually uh, pushing on towards the end of the first half before the next chance is going to come. Kevin De Bruyne into Essien. Oscar's going to make the run. Checks back inside the defender. Lovely ball from Essien. Finds Oscar back of the net. Chelsea won Juventus nil in a semi-final. Not only is it a 1-0 lead, it's an away goal as well. That could be crucial. We obviously had to rely on away goals to beat Real Madrid to get through in the previous round. Not the previous round. We beat Marseille 6-4 in the previous round. In the round of 16, we relied on away goals to get through against Real Madrid. And that goal could be absolutely crucial as we head back to uh, to Stamford Bridge for the second leg. Wonderful strike though from Oscar. He doesn't score too many for us this season but that is a very very important one and as you can see we're now into the 92nd minute and uh, unfortunately for Juve nothing came of it and again it was a very very poor second half as, uh, as we said stereotypically Italian teams are particularly defensive and uh, despite going 1-0 down they still stayed on the back foot passing the ball about keeping possession rather than trying to you know, throw caution to the wind and get themselves back into the game so maybe they're just trying to hold that 1-0 game and push towards the second leg we'll have to wait and see but as you can see the game against Arsenal is coming up in uh, in the Premier League, and uh, unfortunately, apparently, our job was uh, was under threat 
course, we drew against Aston Villa in the last game and uh, in the previous episode. Despite beating Swansea, we did lose to Stoke, having had Petr Cech sent off. Apparently, my position was a little bit under threat, but uh, we had a message from the board to say that they're satisfied with the quality of football we were uh, producing from uh, from the team. So, fortunately, they uh, consider me an invaluable member of the Chelsea family. So, despite winning the Capital One Cup final, getting to the FA Cup final, being in the semi-finals of the Champions League and second in the Premier League, we find ourselves apparently under threat at uh, Chelsea. Thank you, Roman Abramovich. But anyway... We, uh, we appear to have the uh, the backing of the board for now, so we're going to push into the next episode, which will be coming to tomorrow, of course. Feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That would be absolutely wonderful. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, then feel free to do so. There will be a link on screen over that subscribe button and a link in the description down below to do so. And if you missed the previous episode from last Friday, there's an annotation on screen over that snippet of gameplay just there so that you can head to that video and check that out as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.